I went right, and then it, the spider went right. It did I the went left. It went left. Who wanted lip this? smackers? Dr. Stand Pepper up if you lip wanted bomb. this. Clap yeah. if you think she should suffer. <laughs> you know what? what? Let me tell you something. Tell me. I'm gonna tell you. Tell me. You know why I'm not feeling it right now? Not this. Disgusting. <laughs> Dry. Disgusting. Yeah. Two setting powders. These are the two colors. They're probably like a hundred dollars. The audacity. The caucasity. The caucasity. Don't you want a fanta fanta? What am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> from sea to shining sea. <laughs> <laughs> said you better go to urgent care because after I'm done with you, you're going to be crab rangooning. <laughs> Not in the new year, bitch. Sorry. Yeah. Happy new year. Happy new year. Oh my God. First episode of season two. Oh my God. Welcome None of back. the graphics are different because yep. we don't have enough time. Yep. <laughs> they will be. Oh, yeah. Eventually. Yeah. So yeah. when don't you see get me- it when you get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that did something to Why do myself. I feel so far away from you? Mentally and physically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I literally feel so out of body right now. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I the meds that I didn't take them. <laughs> yeah. <yes>. yeah. <laughs> and it's probably because we haven't recorded in what, three weeks? Because we did the final yeah. episodes back to back. And yeah, because yeah. I feel like when we're just sitting down right now, I feel so disheveled. Yeah. And I feel like you look inside it. my brain. <laughs> <laughs> inside your brain um I, yeah i just feel like it's like a whirlpool in my no head. i agree with you i feel like very i'm like, just like i know like i just don't know where to begin with my thoughts totally i was gonna say something else and that thing was that we are gay um, <laughs> uh, Wait. yeah oh. what the fuck was i gonna say oh let's talk about it because okay. everybody's gonna be in the comments talking about it your hair oh <laughs> <laughs> we are morphing into, into each other <laughs> yeah. yes more like i'm coming somebody i will never forget the comment that somebody said single white female <laughs> <laughs> you love it yeah like that i'm coming for your gig and yeah. i was like we, but we said slowly it was just gonna start to bridge yeah like when you're we're starting to wear the same clothes i'm getting it's taller gonna, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm getting more irritable <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <coughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, Ooh, so we, we redid your blonde and yes. then, um, you wanted to go shorter. So what inspired yes. the up instead of the down? Um, so I go through this thing every year when I do, yeah. I think I just get so sick of hair being in my face completely. That like when I love about this length too, is that I can either wear it up and also like I can wear it down and more almost like a faux hawk. Totally. Like pulled to the middle and in front, but yeah. it never goes past my brows. Yeah. So I love that. Like when I turn my head hair you don't isn't feel whipping it. me i know <laughs> yeah yeah and also it's just too because it's too much it's too much in the in the shower of like detangling and then <sighs> my hair getting caught and i Girl. even feel like i'm losing more of my hair when it's longer yeah like i feel like it pulls too much yeah. and I'm, I'm like heat stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and i feel like i'm doing too much i know and I, I can't with the the length of the I hair know. like i know it's fierce it's fun we have too much mental illness Wig. to have that feel like oh. just like swatting away oh, <laughs> like yeah, swatting away. it was yeah. written on the walls when i had my hair tied up like somebody said like yeah. pebbles is this just blow dried or straightened blow dry fuck you yeah like my hair doesn't do that i use the uh the dry bar it. the round brush nice. the little it's the little half shot yeah and i just like take it and i was blowing it out last night with the raise the root from color wow nice. and then the dream coat okay mama nice the raise the root since you recommended that has like changed insane my life. the color wow it was yeah. like I know. Oh, uh, yeah, up. the snap. You, you sent just, me a snap when your hair was really long and you had, what, almost six inches of volume? And like, it was up here and then it swooped. Girl, I was like, insane. what is going And I would like shake it and yeah. it was like still up and it was like, yeah, like yeah. moving around like wheat wheat grass. grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, today we are talking about the worst makeup of 2023. Yes. That you should not waste your money on. Um, some of these things were viral and a lot of the TikTok girlies were telling you that it was going to change your life. Yeah. And we are here to tell you that they are disgusting. Oh <laughs> my God. I am like... <sighs> I know. These are going to be guttural for me. This is going to be... I need... You know what? 
You know what? What? Let me tell you something. Tell me. I'm going to tell you. Tell me. You know why I'm not feeling it right now? Why? Because I know we're about to get into some, to some fucking foolish I know. product. And I know. I'm already annoyed. We're filming two episodes today, and even the one after this is, let's just say, negative. Oh! So I'm oh. in the mood. I'm like- Oh, we're going to be so angry. I know. We're in the- I'm lit up. You know what him. we need to do? After we do episodes like this, we need to go to like axe throwing places oh. to get out our frustration. <laughs> At- Totally. Like just we need to go smash TVs. Hang with pictures bats. of this makeup on the board and, and then just Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take baseball bats and like Absolutely. Whack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we I'm need, just whew. Yeah. So Ugh. we also quickly before yeah. we dive into uh the makeup, the worst makeup of 2023, yeah. let's talk about this little um Sol de Janeiro controversy. I mean, y'all have seen it. Last night I was laying in bed and yes. uh Dan says to me. Without skipping a beat, I like cut him off. He goes, "You don't have any of that Sol de Janeiro cream, do you?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "No, it doesn't attract spiders." Uh-huh. Yeah, and he goes, "Oh my god, thank God!" I know. But then he takes his pause and he goes, "But you don't have it though, right?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's <laughs> and, not in the premises, is it? <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, we're gonna. I mean, should Girl. we put up the review? Yeah. Little, so we'll, we'll put yeah. up the Sephora review that made it go viral. That I have. Um, I took a screenshot of it. Yes. And that people were sending us. Yes. Thank you to our loyal followers that were sending yes. it to us. And then I saw Sol de Janeiro put out a press statement, which we will also. I took a screenshot totally and put it up. And it's this specific scent. Correct? It's the new De the Delicia or the Delicia blue packaging. The newest fifty nine yeah. cream is apparently attracting wolf spiders, and that, to my knowledge, there was a chemist or some. Someone that yeah. put out a statement that certain ingredients are attracting wolf spiders, which wolf spiders are notoriously an aggressive type of spider. Yeah. Now, I have arachnophobia, and I'm not just saying yeah. that to like. Yeah, I don't like spiders. No, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. like to the point of like there was a spider, and I froze in fear, and yeah. like, I I could not move. No, I'm not. I agree with you because I feel the same way about snakes. Like if I'm in the same room with a snake, I don't care if it's behind three glass. inches long behind yeah. glass. I am contemplating like if i have to like end it all i would rather do that than confront this snake and like oh my god did i tell you the day i walked out of my house what happened to me no i was so i was walking down my steps i have like stone steps yeah and um sometimes like stone will have like little cracks or like holes in it and um i'm walking down my steps and i was coming here Mm -hmm. i was coming here Mm -hmm. and it was over the summer so it was hot and I go to step, and I'm looking at my phone, texting you. While I was on my way, and I go to step off the last step. There was a baby snake at the the thing, and I took a photo of it, and I think I showed it to you, and you screamed when I got here. So I was so petrified in fear that a I almost stepped on it, and b it was a snake. Yes, I fucking jump back, and I'm yeah. on the stairs. I to the point where like I could have gone on yeah. left or right to get off of my stairs, but yeah. I was like the fact I was like irrational fear of like yes. it'll chase me. Yes, anything that moves that quickly without legs is from the devil. That's what it is. Like, Ooh. it's just oh, so- Oh, Oh, my God. I know. I am literally getting, like- D- Horrible. Ooh. Okay. Wolf but yeah. spiders. So the so chemist- the wolf spiders. Yeah. So the yes. chemist said, oh, this is what attracts them, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then Sol de Janeiro put out a press statement that the ingredients that were allegedly in their product, they were like, this doesn't contain anything. Our cream only attracts people, not arachnids, even though we love all creatures, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Very much making light of it almost. Like they're in on the joke or kind of are acknowledging it. But yeah. I almost feel like now it's like, I don't, like, I get. I don't know what to believe. That's what I mean. Because I feel like people, because you were telling me too, this Sephora, was it the Sephora review? You were saying they made it go viral. Was You were saying someone was like, I went right and then it, the spider went right. I the, went left. Yeah. It went left. And That's it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's yeah, clearly like, comedy. Like you're being funny, but. Like, it almost, to me, is at the point, if this is fake, it's getting taken way too far. You TMZ know what I mean? picked up the story. That's what I'm which, saying. Like, t- for TMZ, obviously, they want to get those clickbaity stories. Yes. They picked it up, though, and I think that it made me more afraid that it was getting the credibility for, yeah. like, a yeah. quote-unquote news source to pick it up. And yeah. I was like, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> yeah. I am not. I know. I am not going to stick around to find out. I know. Because the day I, I'm not joking, the day I saw this and heard about it, yeah. I was I was here. Yeah. And you got this in PR. I put it all over my arms and I was yeah. like, oh, it smells good. I love <laughs> yeah. the scent. I go home, 
without <laughs> failure that night is yeah. when I get the DM for all these things. And I literally went into the shower and scrubbed my body for 15 minutes on each arm to get this scent off of me. I was scrubbing <laughs> until my arms were red yeah. to make sure that this scent wasn't on me because I was like, I'm not taking no chances getting bit in the middle of the night. I know. I wonder if this is going to har- harm them in the long run or help them. Because they're not that massive of a brand. I know they're in Sephora, but it's not like they have... But they are the number one brand in Sephora. Like, across... Anything? Or, like, my hot... Yeah. Like, across... Like, they are, like, the number one right now. So they are killing it. Yeah, it's interesting, because it's like, I almost wonder, this is the kind of controversy that's not like other ones in the makeup world, where it's like... Dr. Brandt's night cream causes nightmares. That's what I mean, where someone's going to be like, okay, whatever, I'll take the chance, or I'll do this, that. This is something that if people are not... Exactly, I have it. I'm not putting it on. Even if I know it's fake that just freaks me out so i want it out of the home i almost wonder because it's like it's gonna be, i want it out of the home literally is it gonna be a thing where the brand sold de janeiro has reached so many people that it never would have and will help sales or is it gonna harm sales because people are even gonna go oh my god what about the other stuff now i'm afraid of using any sold de janeiro and here's my thing too that you just made me even realize something this cream came out officially in stores on January 1st. Also, do you know what happened to Sol de Janeiro on January 1st? What? They went into Ulta officially. Oh, you're so right. So I'm like, was this like a publicity thing? Was yeah. this like a stunt? Was this to gain traction? Mm. But then I was talking to somebody from the brand and they were like, girl, what a mess. Because exactly. I don't Because it was messy. And it I don't, was, yeah. It, it's to the point that it could harm sales. Because I was even thinking, did they do this? Like, did somebody do this to drum up business? But this goes back to March 2023. Yeah. That somebody said, this is way before this particular product came out, that they were saying another cream from them or another scent from them attracts spiders. Really? Which, mama... I don't know if it's people trying to jump on the bandwagon to get their 15 minutes of fame, but it's exactly. freaking me out a little bit too much. I, I don't like that. So now I'm personally not going to use I it. I know, me neither. I don't want, I don't want to, no. Mama. I'm not taking that chance. I know. Am I, I safe? Know. Like I'm going to carry around Raid. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. So let us know, guys, what your thoughts on this are, whether you would try it, whether you wouldn't, because yeah. it's a very weird controversy. And it, the cream feels so good. And I, I love the smell of it, but I'm like, girl, mm-hmm. no. And we're back. We're we- back. All right, you ready? Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> Are you ready to tiptoe to the tulips? Oh, uh, tiptoe yeah. through the worst makeup of 2023. I'm ready, girl. Are you ready, girl? I'm ready, girl. 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 I have to say, so friggin' funny. You and I went through and picked out all our picks. Yeah. And um, you had double mine because you're bitchier than me. And we um, <laughs> we started to tell each other kind of what they were. We didn't want to spoil it. Like we were brands. Like, yeah, to see if yeah, we Yeah, if pick we had the, the same, same stuff and we didn't. And then we were like, okay, let's just tell each other. And I told you mine, but then you started showing me yours. And I was like, stop, stop. Because they were so good. I was like, I don't want to see anymore because I want to have uh-huh. my like authentic reaction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, you want to, we'll kick it off? Yep, All let's right. do it up. First up, girl, is the Makeup by Mario. What were these called? They were glossy. Yeah, like, full coverage lipstick. glosses. Yeah. These feathered like nobody's business. Honestly, I was so let down by this because I, I love know. the colors. Every single one of these colors I fell in love with. I know. The formula, I, it started to feel good going on, but then almost immediately it started to like feel greasy yes. and then was just moving too much. And I was like, wow, this really, and it was like disturbing my lip liner. Yeah. Like I really was We shocked. talked about this on an older episode. Like yeah. I have not, with modern technology, I have not seen a lip product run in the lines this bad in like 20 years. Technology has come too far. We said it through product development and How through did it make testing. It to market? Right. It makes no sense. It just really, like, because the campaign images look so clean and crisp, but I'm like, is this freshly applied? Because look how thick that layer is, and you know. Girl. Like, come on, that somebody, like, where tests weren't done. Yes. And you know they were, or maybe they were. I don't know. know. I'm not sure how this happened, but, like, Mario, we gotta do better. Like, Which maybe he did, because his new satin lipsticks just came out, which... and. 
I'm crab Mama. rangooning because I literally uh, was in Sephora yesterday and texted crab you. Crab rangooning. Can we put that on? Can we trademark that? Yeah. Put it on a shirt, Mama. Absolutely. His new satin cream lipsticks, the three lightest nudes are tongue dye. Huh? And of course, the lightest yeah. nude was sold out. So I texted you when I left and I was like, I just next day delivered it to the house. So yeah. those are stunning. But yeah, this was not it, man. Yeah. So avoid these at all costs. Oof. Next up, I have the Elf. X American Eagle collection and the NYX slash Barbie collection. And this section goes out to all of these brands. Stop collaborating. Do we need an American Eagle elf collab? Barbie, okay, I kind of get it. This was so cheap and disgusting. And this honestly goes to all the collaborations, the the Muppets and the Sesame Street and the this. I'm tired of it. I am so tired of yeah. all of these things. Imagine how tired we are. We are, because they are so, yeah. there's no thought in them. There's no quality. It's just pumped out. Uh, so I want to agree with you here. I am tired of it. And what I, so here's what I can appreciate when we're going into an American Eagle collab, why I feel like American Eagle or the Barbie from NYX was so popular and maybe eye-catching is because here it is color story so Mm -hmm. american eagle all the denim blues in a palette i totally understand yeah but why not just have a standalone eyeshadow palette that is a blue color story absolutely why do we need it to be an american eagle collaboration with like this clear lip balm that looks blue because they make more money and with the barbie thing too barbie there are so many opportunities there that it could have been such an amazing collab yes if the palettes were i get like the fun toy looking makeup but i would have almost appreciated more if trixie cosmetics did a barbie collab because exactly that bridge, her makeup already looks like that it would already bridge that gap of like toy makeup and pro formula like she always has said that's her branding yes where when nyx did it it felt cheap oh my god and with even the elf american eagle collab it feels cheap it feels like a cash grab yes and i just don't like it where i feel like the only brand to me that does collaboration successfully with tv shows glam light absolutely when they do collections it's a well thought out full-fledged idea yes when they do Ghostface, freddy krueger scooby-doo chucky chucky when they do all that it's a color story it's a it's an experience getting to put the products on everything is so well thought out glam light is over here doing what these brands wish they could do and you know these brands have a bigger budget yes why are we putting this out this level of Garbage. Garbage, because that's the thing. We're not saying you can't do these kinds of collabs. But if it's a, frankly, stupid choice, like American Eagle, the quality better be there. And if it's a good choice, like Barbie, the quality is indisputable. It better be better than, it better be one of the best collaborations of the year. Because the opportunity is even better than just a normal makeup launch. Because everybody collabed and did a Barbie collection. I mean, think about it. And I was living my best. Uh, yeah, I was living my best life. But here's the thing. With NYX Cosmetics, you have amazing formulas. Why was there not the opportunity to do a pink setting powder? Girl. That would have been the time to come out with a mem- like an yes. HD powder. Yes. Imagine a pink one for the under eye. Yes. Imagine a hot pink blush and maybe like a deep berry pink. Like yes. Have it for different skin tones and do something that was worthwhile where we came out with these toy cheap packaging that costs 70 cents to make literally and i was just looking at that and i was like a i can't fit a brush in these eyeshadow pans so it's urban decay naked palettes uh-huh. all over again yep where was the thought behind let's make this an experience where like if mac when mac did back in the day collections with yes. movies and tv shows and people mm-hmm. that was something it would bring you back to that nostalgia of barbie if, absolutely you know when they do that this felt disgusting. This felt like I walked into Claire's and I picked out makeup. Claire's. So I'm really- Five below. Yeah. Literally. Five Five below. below makeup. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yes. Like profusion. That kind of plastic that if you just squeeze it with a baby pressure, it's going to crack. Like that level of cheapness. Yeah, and it's like profusion has better like formulas and collections and they're just as inexpensive as NYX. You want to talk about packaging. They imagine She Glam did a Barbie. It would have came with a full life-size Barbie. (laughs) Like wit that you could somehow use as a brush. Like, you would like pull off her head and it's a lipstick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. Like talk about like above and beyond. Yeah, I know. Tell absolutely. me about it. All right. Next up, we have the Big Ego eyeshadow palette mm-hmm. from Tarte. So I got these in PR 
Uh-huh. And um, I'm pretty sure I gave you all of them. And yeah. uh, we had a little bit of a tiff because uh, you. I disagree with you. Yes. I Well, partially. I like the why. formula. Yeah. My I love the formula of oh. t- these. Which shadows. I feel like tart eyeshadows are all over. Depending on what it is, it could be everything from chalk dust to the best thing you've ever used. I don't understand that, which drives me mad- insane. Yeah. But these big palettes, the formulas. Stunning. Stunning. So Always. for me, this was the color story. The color story is all Girl. over the place because why are we doing pinks, neutrals, and then these random jewel tones at the bottom? Yes. Like I don't understand the color story again. So this is where where I was going to disagree with you is yeah. that why I love this was because there was one color in here, which is so silly, but that silver, that shimmer formula in here was like creamy. Yes. And it blinding, beautiful, full coverage. Mm-hmm. Love it. The color story is out of control, and they always yeah. are. Because think about their holiday palette. Remember with that like dark green, the dark blue? Yes. And then they went on like weird, and then the shimmers were beautiful, but then like everything else felt like sandpaper. Yes. What are we doing over in Tarte? Do we have like formula A, B, and C? And it's like, oh, if it's a small mini palette, we're going to make it crap. Yes. And then if it's a big palette, we're going to make it amazing. And yeah. then there's no consistency. And you know what? You just brought up a good point too, because I almost feel like in this, exactly, why do we have these jewel tones? in here with no other matte transitions that can really go with them. Corresponding and then, shades that absolutely. would make a look. And every other Tarte palette always has, like, they always have four shades that are virtually one degree off from one another, where it's repetition. Oh. And yeah. you brought up a good point, which I uh, didn't even think about, was for me sometimes Tarte uh, matte eyeshadows same with anastasia and i feel like they're better with their neutrals which is why the only mattes in this palette are neutrals because when they get into doing the matte dark greens or the matte blues or the matte purples when you put it on it's girl it is a di- it is on a different planet than what it looks like in the pan they all it end up looking has gray a weird like let's say you're going to use a maroon you go to like a nice like typical burgundy maroon you go to put it on and it goes on five shades darker than what it is in the pan yeah. because there's something about the formula I just don't love about Anastasia mats and Tarte mats. It's almost like, remember the whole Anastasia subculture mm-hmm. thing when people were putting on subculture and it was looking completely different and that was like yeah. bad. Like and they, they won't blend together sometimes oh. and it's just, so for me it was this palette. It's like, what was this, $52? Something like that. $52. And even, yeah, like I'm looking at this color story and trying to pick out a cohesive look. There is nothing about it no. because the darkest shade, the black, has shimmer. Yes. So I'm like, I can't even do like a proper eye look that yeah. I love a matte black. Everything else in here, all the transition colors are all muddy. Like yeah. they're all like too light of a neutral or too like, then we have like this brown that's like yellowy and then yep. a chocolate brown and then gray. So first of all, which Tarte is known for this, we only have two transition shades that are good for white people. Then we have uh, exactly a too warm of a brown, a literal cigarette ash gray. Those are the only mattes. Then all of the shimmers, the only cohesive look you're going to make out of this is a neutral eyeshadow look. So just go buy a $30 ColourPop eyeshadow palette that you're getting double the amount of pans and the formula is just as good. Yeah. So that's what I mean. If you're going to charge $52 for an eyeshadow palette, it better be incredible. Yeah, this is horrible. Next up. Oh. We, the Milk Makeup Pour Eclipse Setting Powder. Do you remember when we used this? I never want to speak on this again. Girl, my under eyes have never looked so bad in my life. I want to, so you know what I want to do? I want to use this again. Yeah. I want to try this again so badly because yeah. maybe I'm like, oh, I didn't give it a fair shot. But I felt like that day. Mama. And we weren't experimenting with new concealer. We no. were using it with concealer we liked. Both of us. And what are the odds that both of us looked decrepit by it, the end of the day? It was so And it makes sense on the under eyes because it was a mattifying setting powder. So how dry it looked on the under eyes Again, in 2023, I'm not buying. But I even used it like towards my nose yes. and like set like in like the, I'm going to say the triangle under my eye. I was like pressing it through there and setting my whole concealer and yeah. setting the foundation. This was by far one of the worst setting powders I think I used because yes. it was A, hard to get out of the packaging. Yes. And then it was a, 
the translucent or the and, and, nope wasn't even translucent nope. it was light yes medium tan and deep yep the light was almost making my concealer too dark Ma- yellow yeah so then i was like okay that's already strike one yeah and then it just yeah oh my god i want to i want to do this again though yeah. and see if it does the same thing and really like look into yeah. it but i'm like yeah this was this yeah. was amazing because you know mess. what it was for me the technology of what this powder did was almost like the mac studio fix powder the new translucent that won an award for us mm-hmm. last year it mattifies and oil absorbs the way this does but if you have a formula like that it needs to be as finely milled as the mac that this is that Thick. technology with laura mercier texture huh. so imagine yeah. laura mercier powder even more drying that's what this was and that's sawdust girl <laughs> so and that's on dust. sawdust you, if someone throws up at a baseball game you can put lower mercy powder down oh and it just, i would the, yeah the the mound of dirt that they're <laughs> yeah. packing down in a baseball game was lower mercy <laughs> yes. powder yeah oh my god yeah oh girl talk about it let's speak about this next up is the natasha denona which is shocking for us because we love our eyeshadows this was the uh it was a new small palette the minis um and it was this blue a blue color story and it was supposed to have a trichrome in it which you can see is this shimmery blue a cobalt blue mama a silver you and i ordered it with our own hard-earned prostitution money yep (laughs) these came in the mail i couldn't believe we looked at it dull dusty and deceased bitch corpse bride it is not even a dual chrome no it wasn't a chrome. It wasn't a chrome. Yeah, it was barely a shimmer. Looking at this photo, <laughs> I feel <laughs> so deceived. Who lied the to me? The saturation on this times. photo was turned up to one hundred. And they posted that. What was the what was the palette that had like the greens and the purples from Natasha? And it was like the three rows. It was like one of the sixty five dollar palettes. The greens and the purples. Uh oh my god! I'm trying. To, maybe it was my the, dream. No. Oh my goodness, it's going to bother me because they said like on the Natasha Denona, yeah. they were like, oh, we had this row, this row went together and this row. It was like green, purple and like something else. Yeah. And then they put this underneath it. They were like, since you loved this color story, the blues is what it was really missing. So yeah. that's why we made this. Yeah. I have never <sighs> felt so deceived in my life when we got these in the mail and seeing that cobalt blue and then swatching it see-through see-through that tree tri- trichrome <laughs> not tree chrome trio chrome tree yeah. chrome <laughs> trio chrome who Where? are you lying to because Where? when we swatched it it didn't even shift a color no. it was just boop boop i know oh my god that light blue the fourth color down disgusting disgusting Horrible. i literally look at this palette when i go home sometimes i'm like you know the <laughs> meme the, yeah. the meme of uh, with the principal from Simpsons, it's the uh, pathetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like yeah. looking down at it going pathetic. Yeah. I look like, at it in disgust. I, like, I literally, I'm like, I every know. time I see it and I want to like vomit because it is so. We bought it. Inconsistent, I mama. Know. I know. Inconsistent. And also, I'm sorry, but like really I know. for this price point and you're coming out with this boo-boo shit and again. How did this pass and get to the public? I know, especially with, with your other Denona. quality. I know. I'm like, girl. Nobody said, hey, girl, this is nothing like our other shit. <laughs> this is boo-boo. Horrible. And people love blue eyeshadow. I'm included in that. Yeah. I was like, sign me up. I know. Because so the swatches were not. Not that. <laughs> yeah, not that, that what we at got. all. <laughs> okay, next up, we have the Makeup Forever. I think this was like called, what, the light? first light or first light finishing powder or something Ugh, okay. so it's three different colors they tried to do what Givenchy did with the color correction tones in the powder and then this had a let's just say this powder has a little bit of a glow to her oh it no no not a glow <laughs> the glow the glow it has mica in girl this. it is shima I didn't even use these this to set my under eyes I'll give it the benefit of the doubt it's a finishing powder it's not a setting powder yeah girl Anywhere here and here that I had pores, when I tell you, it ruined my makeup. Even worse than a highlighter, because again, we're talking chunky, funky powder. This made my pores and my makeup look so bad, I couldn't even, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. This was the one of the worst setting powders I've ever, the opposite of milk. Yeah. Like, the opposite of the milk. It didn't finish your makeup, <laughs> and it quite literally said, we're going we're gonna to make you look 
worse. Ab- it foreclosed your yeah. makeup. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna. You're bruised, battered, and bankrupt. <laughs> Made me file yeah. for bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it said. <laughs> Hi, Flaw. <laughs> yeah. Revlon. Horrible, horrible. Close your doors, Flaw. <laughs> yeah. This it was, was uh, it was horrible. And I got one of these too. And I was like, I was putting it on and I was like, anywhere I put this on, I was like, I look crazy. Horrible. Horrible. Who and what was this for? So I know this was originally in the Asian market too for Makeup Forever that it, it was like exclusive in mm-hmm that market overseas and then it was so popular that the u.s market because i think it was something like i get maybe, to go overseas what's that rupaul's drag race chi chi devane season eight she won a trip to rupaul's like you won a luxurious trip for two to, to fort sunny lauderdale new england and chi chi's like i get to go overseas new and england. Ru is like new england is in the united states yeah. <laughs> and you don't remember that I almost a little it's yeah, like coming back the way to me actually. Chi Chi said it. I get to go overseas. Like I rest in peace. Oh, Chi-Chi I love Chi Chi so much. Yeah. Oh my god. Anywho. Wow, that was iconic. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this was in the like the Asian launches yeah. for in like in specifically like how they do like specific uh US mm-hmm. launches. This was exclusive to Asia, which was so cool. But then they brought it here and I was like, oh, this looks amazing. I would have loved this if it was no shimmer. Yeah. If it was all matte, I was like, wow, like clap it up for makeup forever yeah. for color correcting powders. You're really giving Givenchy a run for the money. I swatched this on my hand and I said, okay, there's some shimmer, but like sometimes it'll like not look like it on the skin. This was just such a miss. A uh, mess. Yeah, it was hard. I have not met one person that has tried this on and liked, liked it. it. So I'm like, where was this successful that people I know. loved it and it became like a favorite product? I'm surprised this hasn't been like pulled. Like it was that bad. Well, I think they might be because they were on sale. Yeah, they better. Like, last but not least, the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour Wand. A, not a contour because it was worn tone. Yeah. B, do you remember when I got this in PR and we put it on my hand and it had gold glitter in it? Yes. Again, gold shimmer. And this was something that was infuriating me because this was this product launch was part of the wasn't this the miami slash mexico trip or whatever where all the influencers like meredith was pouring nine pounds of this on doing her makeup yes yeah. oh so my it was gosh, so yes. viral and it was like sold out and it was trash oh my and it gosh, was just like yeah. doubly pissing you, me off so you got this in pr i put it in at the time in my bridal kit one collective wedding party i was like okay let me try it out for like more natural like yeah. makeup I put it on one person. I immediately was like, you know, we're going to, um, I'm just going to remove this and we're going to, I know we're just going to, I'm going to fix that really quick. I know. I threw it in the garbage on site. But you told me that. You on told me site. Out. I know. I, garbage. Mama. Old glitter it in was, it. And blending it out, it was bringing too much attention where it just looked like a blob of contour yes. and it was shimmering. Yes. And I was like, because ah. that's where I want to have highlighted. I want, I want glow in my contour, which but, is wh- the opposite of what a contour is. It's supposed to be a matte shadow creating. Might as product. well call, just call it glow tape. <laughs> what are we doing? And then just, boop, boop, Brown glow. Yeah. yeah. Glowy shit is yeah. what it was. Like, like honestly, Tart needs to be stopped. This is horrendous. Tart, go away. The, but this, like I said, aggravated me the most because this by far was like the most viral out of anything oh on my, my God. list. Ugh, disgust. I walked into Sephora and this was um Kevin was just a- uh air plays to the TR monitor and this is the photo that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Are like, we gonna put this in? Ever if you if can we? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I, so I walked into Sephora. It's not like his face is showing. <laughs> no, I walked into Sephora yeah. and I literally walked in. This was during the holidays with one of my friends. And yeah. she was like, she like stopped and went like, she like looked up to the ceiling and yeah. looked shocked. And I was like, girl, what? And I looked, <laughs> yeah. I got afraid and I started cracking up because yeah. this man's legs were dangling from the ceiling because he was, um, I guess, fixing something in a Sephora. This is how clueless I, I am. You pulled loud. this up and I was like, oh, what were you looking at? Augustina Spader? Like, I yeah, thought you were oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was like, oh. All right. First up, we have the Rem Beauty, the Thank You Next collection. This was with the pink eyeshadow palette, the eyeliner, and the clear lip gloss. Girl. And the lashes with the rhinestones. Listen to me and listen to me good. Okay. And I'm going to say it. REM Beauty's eyeshadow formula is disgusting. I have never (laughs) in my life. 
in modern technology, felt eyeshadows like this. The shimmers might as well be mats with loose glitter in it that just fall blend away. away, turn into a fairy mat. dust. She said, "Thank you next. <laughs> yeah. Thank you next." And the yeah. color stories in every palette are horrendous. Honey. There is not one eyeshadow look you can make from a single palette. You know what? It's giving that one. You know which one I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to t- I'm going to give you one. Candyland. It is giving gumdrop buttons. It was like a mint green and yes. a purple lavender. I said, "Honey, what in the gumdrop buttons is this palette?" Because this the gumdrop buttons. Yeah, thank you very much. Horrible. Um, this was. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you start pulling his buttons. <laughs> yeah, loosen up oh, my buttons. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Loosen up my buttons, baby. <laughs> you keep fronting me. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Oh my god, this was so gross. And honestly, I gotta say something. This liquid liner, people give it such good reviews. A, when a, a liquid liner doesn't shake to get more liquid out of it, it's a little frightening. If you're not one size, you're not competing. Um, this liquid liner, when I told you, I. It was when the, I think the liquid liner was first coming out when mm-hmm. the, the line was first dropping for Rem Beauty. I yeah. got like a couple pieces to try and I had to like review it and whatever. Yeah. I remember putting this liquid liner on and I was doing a video review and I said, I'm only posting a photo because I had to literally, it was going on black, black, black. And by the time I was not even at my, the end of my eye, it stopped working. <laughs> Yeah. It stopped working. And it I said, said, thank you. <laughs> next. And yeah. I was horrified. So absolutely not. Horrible. This is boo-boo. Up next, we have Bobby Browns. These were like blush trios, like three different colors in the yeah. same pan, five different shades. Yeah. Because um, I love that second one, so I can apply my blush like this. <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, if you want to use it separately? What are we doing? Oh, Mama, you know... Miss Bobby Brown says, you can use them all separately. So you want me to yeah. wiggle a highlight brush on the end of my pan? A Q-tip. Mama. A ghost. A ghost. Save oh. it. <laughs> oh, save it. Oh, yeah, we'll next save week. it. Next yeah. week, you'll find out what we're talking about. Yeah. And I hated because you know back in the day when our Sephora days when Bobby Brown was like coming out with things and we would get trained on the products. They were like, oh, just take your brush and go right across these products and yeah. sweep it on. Yeah. <laughs> I am not sweeping anything of the sort. <laughs> I ain't sweeping anything on, girl. Ooh. Yeah. And honestly, this individual, because no. they're all oopy doopy poopy, 20% pigment, whatever. Yeah. Like, it is given nothing, mama. No. And honestly, for that deepest shade to be that cool tone and gray, yes. it's going to be gray Ash. on, on yeah. a deeper skin tone. Yeah. So this is such a waste, horrible product. <sighs> Disgust. Horrible. Oh, my God. And if that wasn't enough, we have... These from Jill Stewart. I've never heard of this line before. Same. These are like, I hate the name of this product. It was a multi-use powder, which where, who, what, when, where, why? Yeah. What places do you want me to put this besides in a dark room? Yeah. In a box. Yeah. Locked away and then set on fire. Yeah. Because this is never going to be used from head to toe anywhere. No. Look at these shades. I know. That one borderline looks green. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want me to, girl, where am I putting these like oopy doopy And you know those shimmers? two light ones are going to be like a duo, like that That silver is going to have blue. And, and then the that, one over there is gold. green and gold. Yeah. And it's like gold, yellow, green shimmer. And yeah. it's. Uh, no mama and honestly i think and i can tell retail- it's chunky for the formula from just looking at the pan yeah it's not it gonna be a smooth so highlighter even as a highlighter no because it's gonna look like something is just sitting on top of your skin absolutely accentuating every ounce of texture yeah. it's gonna make you have texture yes so i'll never forget one time my sister i brought uh do you remember when elf had free land it free landing freestanding brick and mortar stores yeah they were like popping up in malls mm-hmm. i brought my sister in one one time and god bless this girl who was working there had so much highlighter on and it had because it, it was like 2016 you know when people had so much highlighter on that it would start to crack off in like uh snake scales and then we turn and walk out and she goes she's like that was she that girl had too much highlighter on right and i was like yeah like that's what this would be the packaging, the colors. Yes. And the price point, I think, was crazy on these, I'm too. I'm sure. Which was insane. And it only gets worse from here. 
So this is a full-blown collection from Kiko Milano. God, they really went down the tubes. They really... Do you remember back when they had brick and mortar stores yes. in the US? And they were so beautiful. So good. And then what is this like... Photoshopped eyeshadow palettes with sparkle. Like those are... That's like... It's I, Look at the sparkle. <laughs> it, girl. Oh yeah. my God, it literally is photoshopped. photoshopped like that it's photoshopped is, glimmer. Yes. Wow, that is actually pathetic. I never even You can see, that. Look, okay, look at the two eyeshadow palettes. Look at the purple one on the left. Okay, so look at the gold on this side of the middle one, and then immediately the pink right across from it. The shimmer Photoshop is the same pattern. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> and then same with the two on the outside. So this, look at where the shines are. It's the same thing. Yeah, look, pink and yeah. purple. The pink and purple. It's the, the glitter sparkles are in the exact same Photoshop spot. They literally oh, just mirrored it. Just unapologetically yeah. lying. I can spot Photoshop with my eyes closed. Oh, and look, look at the, the bottom powders. Yeah. Oh my God, all the sparkles are in the same place. Oh what are you my God. Do? Like, and then all who this are you whole color fooling? story. Yeah, disgusting. Need we say more? I mean, this I is know. so gross. Like, who is this working for? Like, I'm not into this. This. And it was the whole brand has really gone down the tubes because I was they had they still have Kiko in Europe and I went into a Kiko in London last year and everything in the store I was just like no horrible bueno. yeah yeah when they actually used to have like great makeup Ugh. like they used to be like the individual and eyeshadows edgy. and I know they had Ugh. so much stuff that those was sparkle like, shadows that's were what like I mean great. it was like some of the most like really shiny shimmery glitter like and stuff before fairly anyone priced. else yeah. yeah yeah next up I have one of the most disappointing launches and i'm gonna say relaunches it was yes. the burberry beyond wear perfecting matte foundation not even based on the formula no i'm talking based on the shade range because i've heard the formula is, is supposed not good. to be good really good oh i watched so many reviews on this because i'm buying all of the high-end foundations luxury foundations to try them all and do a video and uh, i just bought the Guerlain. i told you yesterday and i was debating this because i and then i started watching reviews and every review on youtube of this everyone was saying amazing. it's amazing but i can't with this shade range. this shade range is despicable i mean like it really, throwing 24 jail shades yes 24 shades and we have one dark shade one dark one those last two the, the those second, are tan tan literally one dark shade we went from the first two rows look the same yes where i'm like that third row i'm like we're getting there we're getting there yes there should be another 24 shades the third row should have been the second row and the fourth and then they need a fourth row agreed that whole yeah. second row should be chopped yes yes mm, chopped chopped but yeah this is so disappointing i mean honestly like that embarrassing this is and this is why it was one of the worst launches for me because yes. you're gonna do this unapologetically in 2023 never acknowledged get it lost. never said anything about it the trend mood post from this foundation was getting eviscerated people were like As it this be. is a joke and they never said anything they could give a shit they don't care yeah because i'm sure people still went out and bought this and i know love it. and good for you that if this matches you but yeah like, come on and you know what it is what's so shocking to me about this was like like, you know, with your designer brands like Burberry and Dior and Givenchy and the whole nine yards, like, let's say high fashion brands, the fashion industry has gotten so much scrutiny and criticism over the years for the racism and the classism. You might have seen the viral clip of Linda, Linda Evangelista saying one of the main reasons Naomi Campbell even got booked in the beginning of her career was because Linda Evangelista used to say, if you don't book Naomi, you don't get me because she had to get Naomi work because there could only be one black girl in the fashion show. It could be it was there's so much racism and classism in high fashion that I think a lot of the other high fashion brands when they got into beauty like Dior, Givenchy, YSL have almost overcorrected coming out with 60 shades and having it as inclusive as it is. And then we what still have this. We, and then you have Burberry, who, again, is very much that aesthetic of that uh, classist, very white British like looking uh, in their campaign images and yeah. whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah. Like, girl. And if you're if you're 
are going to come out with 24 shades, you best believe that 24 shades, six shades, each category, light, medium, tan, and deep. Yes. You better have six shades for every category going from the lightest to the darkest and those in between shades. Yes. Then you expand. But everything, you if you're only going to have 24, you better come out correct. Correct. With 24 shades. It better it better be a wider span than this. Absolutely. This is despicable. It really is. Flop. Right <laughs> Flop Tino. This next one. <sighs> okay. This is where I yelled at you and said, we're not, I'm not looking at yours yeah. anymore because I got so excited. This is the Laura Mercier Powder Foundation. Go to the next photo, please. I never in my <laughs> life have I seen, and it says no retouching. Bitch, we can tell because we are heading from wake up in the morning, getting out of the shower, flat to corpse motherfucking bride. To, at 3 p.m. Girl, she in the photo looks so dry and dusty. It is criminal. There's more texture on her face <gasps> in the first photo. Yes. Look it in her Gr- nose. Wait, can we talk about the lighting situation? That yes. She was bright, beautiful. Why does she get more dull <laughs> and gray? And dry. Girl, you can see the powder clinging to all look at the baby hairs on the forehead the the cheekbone look at this in the nose oh i know dry and dusty. i feel and you know what's so sad mama i think there's a tear in that eye in the third <laughs> photo i think she knows <laughs> she knows. i think she knows she's about to lose moisture in that she face. Knows. so she said let me wet my face with my tears because i look like an alligator absolutely it is so bad like what is this these shades too like i'm glad it's we translucent the honey simpsons yellow yeah it's like translucent and then they do translucent honey now and then translucent medium deep so then they added a third shade which is a little bit lighter you're lying like to it, me this is the only shades this is the translucent powder in a pressed now like the domed okay. baked powder okay Oh, yeah, mama. This is the powder to, like, set. Like, uh, basically, like, the translucent powder, but in, like, a domed, baked version. Can you believe I work for them? Honestly? <laughs> honestly, Diane? No. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I don't either. Burberry made sense because they had some cool stuff. Well, and it was fun and it was whatever. That made sense. Back in the day. We're talking OG Burberry. Laura Mercier was... what Like, Wild West. <laughs> they almost got had a little bit of a boop and then it just fell because off. you were there when like when mario took over i do not understand how you worked with those products and didn't just like smash them into the <sighs> table i know out of frustration because those cream caviar sticks disgusting how many eye makeup looks did you have to do on people just using those caviar sticks honestly nobody you nobody ever did. wanted their eyeshadow done no it was just I would stand behind the counter and people would just come by tinted moisturizer. Re- buy their tinted wa- their tinted water, tinted moisturizer. That was it. Disgusting. That's all I ever did. I don't know what they do honestly to like stay afloat. Because I know this is horrible. I can't. Are you ready for this next one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the Tom Ford. This was like a Soleil bronze collection with our sponge tip applicators. <laughs> yes, our glitter lip balm that shows Nothing. hardly any glitter. And a extremely yes. gold highlighter that will not look flattering on anybody. He has balls to charge what he charges. $88 for an eyeshadow palette. Girl, no. And look at that right eyeshadow palette, that top left shade. Yes. That boo-boo shimmer. <laughs> yeah. And then two boo-boo mattes. Yep. And then you even know that other shimmer is going to be like half. Yes. Like. Yes. Shimmer half matte Barely still. foil. Yeah. yeah. With cheap dollar store sponge tip applicators girl what are you doing with those push brooms on the other side (laughs) what are we doing and you know that gold like that lip balm is the same formula as like what's in an elf (laughs) like he made that for 54 dollars 54 dollars for a clear sparkly lip balm yeah should we talk about it no you want to talk about where the pain began (laughs) mr ford yeah where did it touch you yeah. yeah. Nowhere. Cause I'm not letting yeah. it near me. Yeah. Yeah. I won't let it near me. <laughs> yeah. I just need to take a moment of silence right there I because know. this is horrible. Horrible. Are you saddled up and ready? Oh god. These, these last ones yeah. that I have. Fanta Fanta. <laughs> don't you wanna Fanta Fanta? What am I looking at? This is scent of Fanta. This is the orange soda perfume. Made by Fanta? 
Or was this a collab? I think this was a collab with Fanta to smell like orange soda. Okay. Orange Fanta. So who was the perfume brand? Does that make sense? Um, Or did Fanta come out with this? I'm... Should I pull it up on trend? It's okay. Who cares? Yeah, but still, very interesting. You talk about attracting insects. <gasps> Bees. <laughs> like, spilled orange soda might as well you be molasses. Around, no, I want to <laughs> spray this on all my pulse points, and then all of a sudden I come in here with a face full of bees. <laughs> yes. And it's just, I look like a beekeeper, and they're <laughs> yeah. buzzing around me like I'm, oh, did you ever see Candyman? <laughs> when he opens up his chest, and it's just bees. <laughs> yeah, And it's just Chest full yeah. of bees. Me, mama, putting this on. I'm walking around. Somebody even said that in the comments too. I think they were like, honey, I already feel the bees chasing me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just, you're smelling like sticky syrup sticky soda. Sticky syrup soda. Uh-uh. No, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, but I don't love a soda or beverage so much that I need to smell like it. No, I never drink soda. You really don't? No. Mm, okay. That's why I've never had a cavity. Shut up. Flop. <laughs> I oh my god. Yeah, yeah. you've never had a cavity. No. You're a freak. Ting. I'm just gonna come in here and put Snickers bar. <laughs> Shut like, a fucking I'm Skittles. gonna put a butterfinger <laughs> in your teeth. I already got butterfingers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shanta Kai is up next. So Shanta Kai came out with these powder highlighters and lip balms. Can you take a little uh guess how much these powder highlighters are from Shanta Kai? I Probably $80. 84 Oh my God. Did you ever eat chocolate popsicles in the summer? Yes. Do you know how they almost, as they started to melt, they had like a little bit of a gray to them, like those chocolate popsicles? Tell me that color <laughs> of that brown highlight isn't a melted chocolate popsicle when it, you're a kid. 1,000% right? is. Yes. I yeah. mean, this is And what so... is that doing? Was that Who's that highlighting? Even the deepest skin, what is that going to be? It's, it's gray. Gray. What is these lip balms? Clear. <laughs> are like sixty dollars, I think. Girl, infuriating. I can't. And I'm, the packaging is like Kaleidos Beauty, or like the indie brand, where it's like fun, innovative. But I'm like, they're at least charging a reasonable price. Exactly. You're charging eighty four dollars, which I don't even know if I would call this innovative. I think they have a nice stamping. That's a nice stamp on the product, but the component. Oh no, itself, no, no. Kaleidos is innovative. Oh, whoa, that, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Kaleidos yeah. is more innovative of a beauty brand, yeah. where this is like boo boo nasty. Yeah, I, and then I'm going into Michaels and seeing scrapbooking paper that looks like your packaging. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Collect yourself, please. And Girl. Leave. Um, and while we're on the topic of Shanta Kai, there was another collection from them. Uh, Miss, Miss Horsey Tina over here. Horse Tina. Yeah. Horsies. Hello. Horsies. Horsies. Hi. Powder eyeshadows. Disgusting. <laughs> Dry. Disgusting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they are, oh my God. And these, again, Lip colors that were like lip balms. Mm -hmm. I, mama, what are we doing? Sea biscuit. Sea biscuit. Sea biscuit. Oh my God. So, I mean, black bells in the dead oh of night. God. <gasps> and then I, well, I'm just going to, I want to keep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rattle I want to just ra like rattle these and rip these band aids. <laughs> Sisley, two setting powders. These are the two colors for finishing powder. And Sisley powders are like mama. I want to say they're probably like $100. The audacity. The, the gumption. The, the caucasity. <laughs> the caucasity. Yeah. For these two to be the only two setting powders that you have? Girl. Are you kidding me? Girl. This is on par with Burberry. what Burberry would do. Yes. And they came out with a powder too, and those were unapologetically horrible. It had a white. In the middle. In the middle. Yeah. So not only was the dark not even dark, but then if you were that dark- it had the Medium. white ring in the middle. It had a white ring that was going to make it lighter. Gray. Gray. Wig. Wig. <laughs> I mean, this is just, and what is this stamping of this like fallen rose petals? The Starbucks like, logo. Like, right? It's given that. Like it's given dancing flowers in Vantasia. Who is developing these cosmetics and thinking this is appropriate or this is a good idea? I'm not doing this anymore. I know. I'm going to throw This up. is coded. In saying anyone darker than this cannot or will not buy our cosmetics. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So say it with your chest. Good point. <laughs> say yeah. it with your chest. Who said that? Kevin Hart. Oh my God. He yeah. is. Just, uh, say it with your chest. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, but really though, like you're really going to unapologi unapologetically sit there and be like, yeah, you, yeah, not for you. They don't buy, buy it. They won't, can't buy it. Yeah. So whatever. I just, I cannot. 
I think I remember doing this on Purchaser Pass. Purchaser Pass. And it I was, was gonna, disgusting yeah. then. So these are the refi lip balms and uh, six bite different beauty. shades. I mean, everything in nothing colors. And look at those no, swatches. No, no, not Bite Beauty. <sighs> Fucking. Ilya? No. What's the brand that makes the sugar shit? Fresh. <sighs> remember the fresh lip balms? That minimum dollar store twist up no contouring to the thing so that it like hugs the lips like a just, just a flat, flat top, <laughs> cut just top. just cut hand cut to, uh fucking they tops. took a machete and said any yeah. last words <laughs> literally yeah. and uh yeah, yeah. and these, these are shapes. tiny teeny tiny <sighs> teeny tiny little things oh my god what are we doing with these look at the swatches everything and nothing first of all why is the black girl wearing uh canyon in the dark why were her studio lights not on no literally do you see that she's in they don't want to show what it really looks like because they said turn the lights down yeah. and it, and also too what you're telling me is that the darkest shade is on the darkest model yeah of the deepest complexion so you're trying to tell me that none of the other shades looked appropriate because they wouldn't they wouldn't and they would all look awful on deeper skin tones and i'm sorry mama what if are we doing this year i would imagine that they're hydrating those lips look dry I was thinking the same thing. Girl, Why they look all, dehydrated. They look like they have been out in like the wilderness, huh, yeah. like Bear grills, honey. <laughs> you have been stuck out. The Reverend. Yeah. You have been yeah. stuck out in the Sahara. Reverend? Yeah. Yeah. And digging for water. Like this searching. is Leonardo DiCaprio cutting open a bear and going inside him to stay warm. 127 and putting hours. putting on his refi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your leg is stuck <laughs> in the canyon and you are in need of water. Yes. Mama. Horrible. Disgusting. Get out. <laughs> Not this. I had to put this in here just for a little laugh. So this is from that brand Vacation that did all those like um that vacation like perfume and like all the SPFs that smell like and it looks very nostalgic. Uh-huh. What is this dollar store CVS at the checkout line lip balm for Arizona tea? Arizona iced tea lip balm. Did we need who needed this? Who wanted <laughs> who this? Who wanted lip this? Lip smackers, Dr. Stand Pepper up if you lip balm. wanted this. Yeah. Clap if you think she should suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't understand what we're doing here. No. Who needed lip smackers to get a revival from vacation? I want to start doing the Wendy w- Williams burp fart. Did you see that compilation? <sighs> burp fart? Yeah, there's Wendy like a Williams? whole TikTok compilation of like every time she used to all the time on her show, she would like burp, but she would let out a little. It would literally be like. <clears throat> Like all the I've time. seen her burp before. <laughs> yeah, and she'd I, be like, "Oh, we're oh, gonna no. look that up during the next break when we, when we before we film the second yeah. one." I got to see this. Yeah, and then we're gonna just rattle right along here because this gives me nightmares. This is the Gucci Beauty Holiday Collection. So this was um, two bronzers. One is pink, and pink. the other one is yellow, yeah, orange. And then we have three lipsticks that, and the packaging looks like it's from The Shining. <laughs> Yes. And the colors also look like they're when the elevator doors open and it's just blood. That's what this totally. is. Totally. This yes. is horrible. horrible. Yeah. Horror. And I'm just over it. Like that red is nice, and the, but those other two are everything and nothing. Uh-uh. No, no. The yeah. red wasn't even nice. No. In store, saw it, everything and nothing colors. The red had too much brown in it and like too much orange, and then it looked like an everything and nothing yes. red. Uh absolutely disgusting. Horrible. I it, these colors of the lipsticks, rusty bike, <laughs> rusty bike, rusty bike hit with a brick. You know what I do yeah. love though? Tell I me. love putting my bronzer on with that brush. I do too. I the love brush it. that is uh, a toothbrush, thin, a little thin toothbrush, a thin toothbrush. I and love like, it. I love just how a sweeping bronzer sweep. on, and your bronzer is getting taken up by your whole cheek and just sweeping upwards. Don't put those pathetic br- brushes. If, if in Benefit the Cosmetics corner. took them out. No one else should be putting them in. <laughs> Absolutely. Because Benefit was the queen of putting that yes. little ooky spooky little brush <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah. And if they took it out, so should you. <laughs> so should you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Uh, Last but not least, mama. Woo, honey. Black honey. Black this, honey in the dead at night. Is I, that black velvet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Love that I song. clap if you think she should suffer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is so black honey in the rhinestone studded packaging. Yes. That was clearly just a sheet of rhinestone that from Michaels wrapped around. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wore it on this podcast and I held it in my hands and it was disgraceful. It was. So this, I can't, I can't. with any more black honey. If I see one more thing this year, guys, we're shutting production down. <laughs> on, yeah. I, I really, 
Yeah, 2024, if I get another Black Honey collection and it's anything of the sort, Clinique will be hearing from me. I know. And you may be hearing about Clinique next week. I thought you meant me personally, and I was like, are they suing me? (laughs) And you may be expecting a cease and desist from from Clinique. Clinique. No, they're going to send me a white lab coat in the mail and say... Come on down. With black honey smeared across it like blood as a warning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And it's, it's, they made a mold of my head in a box with like black honey all around it. Totally. They're like, take this as a warning. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. a cake like cut into it. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yep. This was fun. Well. <laughs> well. Girl. Girl. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Man. All right, guys, that was it for the worst makeup of the year. Oh, my God. 2023. Thank God God. it's over. Leave this makeup in the past. (laughs) Did you hear the Queer Eye guys are apparently (laughs) sucking and fucking everything that moves? Did you hear that rumor? I mean, I just kind of expected that. I know, too. a little hot goss. So uh, Bobby l- is leaving the show after like the yeah. most recent season. Yeah. And everyone was like cracking up online because they're like, I would too if I had to redo an entire house while my coworkers are making a chore chart in a week. <laughs> <sighs> So hysterical. Um, yes. I would love to do like Queer Eye with you <laughs> and like redo people's makeup collections. Girl. We should like definitely. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Is that like a business opportunity Netflix? for us? <laughs> yeah, totally. Netflix. We go into people's makeup rooms and makeup bags and like completely, we like take them shopping and like redo it. Guys, make this happen. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that? It's in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, so he's leaving wow. the show and there's yeah. a bunch of rumors going around uh, that someone was exposing on TikTok. He was friends with someone that was dating one of the Queer Eye guys and basically saying his friend who was boyfriends with one of the Queer Eye guys who he was alluding to was basically saying that that one Queer Eye guy and another Queer Eye guy specifically would regularly have like orgies. And when the his friend broke up with the queer eye guy, he said that they also had like freaky deaky, like this queer eye guy had like cameras all in the house that like used to film the orgies. And then when his without, fr- uh, without everybody consenting to it. Yes. <gasps> and then when his friend oh. broke up with the queer eye guy, no, uh, no, the queer no. eye cast member was going around showing their mutual friends a portion of a orgy video that was just him and another person saying, look, he cheated on me. That's why I broke up with him. And it was coming directly from the friend of the guy who dated one of the queer eye guys. And apparently everybody as well. And I don't know if all of the other four or just like some of them, whatever, apparently have like really disliked one of the other cast members and reported him to like things and like always were trying to get him basically kicked off and it was Jonathan Van Ness. They all were trying to like get him get rid of him. Yeah. Which is a joke to me because Jonathan Van Ness is the only one that like out of all four of them, queer eye like Jonathan Van Ness is the only one to come out of that show like a star from it. Like he doesn't need queer eye anymore. Where the rest of them, Bobby might not, because I feel like the interior design world isn't that way. You know what I mean? Like Joanna Gaines isn't like you know, she doesn't need to be a celebrity to be yeah, big in yeah. the interior design world where Jonathan Van Ness is like, what are the other three? You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Anthony's just hot. That's everyone, whatever. Uh, and then at Karamo, when I don't even remember the other one. I don't I never really watched it all too Who much. Who the hell? Why am I forgetting one? Karamo, Anthony, Tan, France. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah that's what I mean. Like, jo- uh, Jonathan Van Ness is like. Made him like a name for himself. Absolutely. Like, with the brand, his yes. like hair care brand and everything. And yeah. Just being yeah. a celebrity hairstylist. So, yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure it's, they just announced after all that is coming out that next year, the one that's already filmed or whatever is going to be the final season. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. That's messy, messy girl. Messy, messy boots. Yeah. Oh my so. God. Yikes. All right, guys, that's it for a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. This oh. is the worst makeup of the year. Boots. Boo. <laughs> Save your money. Yes. Oh, my God. This next episode is going to be a little spicy like spicy. today. And we are going to be, you know, giving you all the. Should we tell them what it is? Yeah. Them we're going to be. Yeah. We're going to be exposing all of the brands that are in their flop era. Girl, brands that are in their flop Tina and Dupree And we're going to even say where it went wrong. 
why we used to love them and Girl. Where, like where it all yeah. started to whoosh. we'll talk about it because it was very specific yeah and the more we talked about it there started to be it, the the criteria for what constituted a brand that could be on this list started to get very specific oh yeah yeah oh i'm excited this yes. is gonna be that's gonna be a very D- yes it's like almost heartbreaking in a way because some of these brands absolutely girl. we were so infatuated with I know. and then it felt like a breakup because absolutely. they started to do things and we saw them for their true colors and we're like oh you just want to put out crap now i know so it's like they Gaga. started to run out of idea it's music career oh yeah, Chromatica was okay. Art you know flop. I mean. art, art flop. Yeah. I love art pop. Yeah. I know, me too. Art, art, art pop merch. <gasps> art pop. <laughs> we could. We could. <laughs> we could. We could belong together. Elton John singing I art love pop. art pop. Oh my I God. I love art pop. It was way ahead of its time. It was too ahead of its time. And also, but like, get rid of Jewels and Drugs. Girl. And where's Brooklyn dope. Nights? Get rid of dope. And Brooklyn that Nights. Is more than dope. What was the song that I Wanna Be With You was the original dope? And it was so much better. And it was so much better. The original version of Aura. I know. The original version of Aura. Yes. Go listen to it. If you know what we're talking about and you're a huge Gaga fan, go listen to I the know. Aura like official demo. Girl. The, the girl vocals in that. Sick. It, I have. I, I like whip my hair. I know. I know. To it. I'm like. I'm not the yeah. wandering slave. <laughs> yeah, like, I literally. I am so. Oh my god, my brain. Yeah. Ooh, I god. am a woman of choice. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl. Oh god, that was uh, such like a raw. And even time for god, I the, loved it. Oh god, guys, we could do a whole Gaga episode. Uh, like, yeah, to, to to gauge your. Let, let us know your Gaga interests, so we know if we. Um, this, yeah. I Maybe could, we can couple it with like analyzing Gaga looks, like makeup looks, so we can just selfishly through, talk about. Yeah, her entire because career. going through, we like, are encyclopedias of this entire woman's. Let's career. start at two thousand eight, and girl. Go, no, well, let's go even back two thousand three yeah. when she did those street yeah. performances in the city with brown hair when she was born. Yeah, yeah. hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. March twenty eighth, nineteen eighty six, on the Upper East Side, yeah. Lower East Side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. 1986, born, browse, rotted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, we know everything about her. Yeah. And um, even the iTunes Festival versions of the songs I was telling you, which I'm so happy Ooh, I, I just brought chills. this up because now I can, I think it's on one of the computers. I have to show it to you. I have studio versions of the iTunes Festival in the original <laughs> streams because she just changed the songs unnecessarily because she yes. was like, you all heard it at the iTunes Festival, so I have to make it different. And she ended up overworking some of them yeah. and ruining them because dreams had that big the last night done done it was like that big 70s yeah. synth originally there was nothing over that and it just let you hear that synth and you wanted to she dance to it and then she added it. the you were in my like oh, on top of it she just overworked things and it ended up being over processed yeah like so oh god Anywho's, we're signing off. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for listening to a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. If you want your video episodes one day early, make sure you subscribe to our official YouTube channel and make sure you check out Johnny's channel as well because there might be a few surprises coming in the near future. <gasps> yes, girl. And I feel like this is actually the place to tell them. Okay. So we were going to start uploading content, more uh, bonus content to the podcast channel, yeah. long, a YouTube exclusive. Long story short, I'll sit, spare you the details, but... YouTube gets mad at you if you try to upload videos that are different from the kinds of videos you're doing, and that includes time length. So because our podcast episodes are an hour, when we upload basically anything, a normal like makeup-y thing that's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, even 25 minutes, they say flop and they don't show it to anybody. Yeah. So we basically in the new year now are regimenting everything, scheduling like crazy. And my beauty channel, Johnny channel, is basically going to become Kevin and Johnny, and we're going to be uploading videos every single week, like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, crazy shit. Yeah. The one we're filming tomorrow is <laughs> going to be insane. So um, fun. So make sure you look out for that. And subscribe yes. to his channel if you're not Totes. already. So make sure you look up uh, Johnny Ross, subscribe there. Also subscribe to obviously beautiful and bothered mm-hmm. keep watching here turn on those notifications so you know every time we post make sure you also go on spotify and apple Podcasts and you click that follow leave us a five-star review because that's really really what helps us out there mm-hmm. and remember oh no and wherever you and are wherever you are because we, we don't know where you are <laughs> wherever you are from from <laughs> sea to shining sea <laughs> We 
We hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember, you are beautiful. Bye. America. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tomb.